Hello, hi, hi five people, hello. Kelvin here from London, Stereo Review X is my channel. Okay, uh, I'm gonna review today a pair of two-way speakers from the late 70s, sort of the classic period of uh, British hi-fi speakers in particular, I would say. Uh, Monitor Audio MA5, yeah? So it's 1978-79, uh, rated at 50 watts, uh, two-way, closed box yeah kind of uh, interesting to note this closed box thing loads of speakers today have ports you know they're smaller most you know lots and they have ports and that port will give you some really low bass uh, and i'm gonna compare do a bit of compare and tr contrast with this ma4 mark ii which is kind of the big brother of this same year yeah but this has a port um, if we look at the drivers here, so this driver and this driver look almost exactly the same. They're both KEF drivers, by the way. Now, if you, if you uh, look around, you'll see this driver all over the place, you know, in KEF uh, speakers and other people's speakers. Now, it's worth noting, see, I bought these speakers about five years ago for hardly any money like 30 pounds. I had to go and drive to get them for probably like 30 miles away actually. But anyway, I got them and lo and behold, one of the base drivers wasn't working. But this base driver is probably one of the most common base drivers, you know, that to find on eBay because there were just tons of these made. They're in all sorts of other speakers and lots of people take these out and try to sell them, you know. And if you look at this, just for an example, so that's a Kef Corral, same bass driver, yeah? So, you know, Kef made bass drivers and lots of other companies use them. Uh, so if, if the bass driver is not working, you'll be able to find it if you want to do it. And this model is called the SP1014, which is different to this one, by the way. This, has a bigger magnet than this, yeah? This is a closed box, this is a port. This is a more expensive thing. Um, that's a Isophon tweeter. The tweeter is really nice, yeah? I can't tell you how nice this tweeter is. And I'm not sure why you don't see this. We never saw this tweeter on any, other, one other monitor audio as far as I know. But uh, I never saw this tweeter being used by anyone else and it's really nice. I'm kind of thinking maybe, you know, it was an expensive thing because it's a really nice sounding tweeter. Uh, other point worth noting with the MA5, they come in matched pairs, yeah? So the other one has the tweeter on the inside. So it's not the exact same baffle, yeah? So it's basically like a mirror image down here. Worth noting, the place to have the tweeter is on the inside, yeah? So as you look at this, this should this would be the left-hand speaker and the right-hand speaker would have the tweeter. Do you get me? Work it out yourself. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, look up matched pair of speakers and you'll figure it out. But the tweeter goes on the inside, which is kind of counterintuitive because you might think it should go to the outside which will sort of make it seem like it's giving you a bigger sound stage but it's not it's better to have them on the inside because it, it will give you more focus basically um okay so i'll do the sound generally uh, then i'll do some songs and then we'll do a comparison by the end of that you should uh, pretty much know what these speakers sound like okay so sound general about this one it's it's a laid-back, refined sound. This tweeter is gorgeous, gorgeous tweeter. Very accurate, very inoffensive. This speaker is completely inoffensive in a nice way, if you know what I mean. I don't mean that in a sort of derogatory way, but there won't be, you could listen to this speaker for a long time, it will never annoy you, it doesn't have any stick out frequencies, or feel like it's doing anything wrong or particularly 
doesn't do any no edgy soundingness at all. Now it's a closed box and like a lot of big closed boxes or you know medium bookshelf speakers I suppose you say from the 70s in particular they're giving you a fair bit of bass there's a slight mid-range dip yeah the mid-range is a bit recessed yeah I would say the mid-range is clean it's just kind of a little bit smaller than it should be you know uh, the high frequencies the upper stuff images nicely because this tweeter is gorgeous and you've got match pairs that helps uh, but when you get down into the sort of lower mid mid area the imaging doesn't really happen half so good you know because you haven't got a dedicated mid-range driver um, what else have I got here uh, it's controlled it's very nice yeah uh, it's got a great tweeter uh, here's an interesting thing when I first was playing these I put them on stands you know they're only this big and then I changed it to, to you know floor stands that are like two foot high this is miles better because you've got that mid-range dip yeah which is kind of extremely common yeah you probably you know and speakers like this you kind of ex you know it's just expected really but because you've got that mid-range dip you really want to get this tweeter and this drum, you want to get them at your ear level, yeah? Because that will counteract that mid-range dip. So when I put them down on the like one foot high stands, they were a bit disappointing. Second I put them on a two foot stand, I was like, oh good, miles better. I mean, really a big difference there, yeah? Um, okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And you know, you might say these speakers don't handle extremely dense material well, yeah? Which is also a common thing with all speakers that they literally can't cope with, like, you know, things like Black Sabbath, you know what I mean? They just can't do the mid-range, the bass, and the, they can't do it all at the same time. And a lot, or an awful lot of speakers sound great when you play simple simple music you know uncomplicated music like country music say with a lovely singer kind of most things sounds good like that and this is the same quite frankly okay i'll go through some songs i, I slightly slightly shortened the song uh, section of this but i'll do the songs and i'll do a comparison and by the end of that you, you will know what these speakers sound like now, just realised I didn't mention uh, how much these cost. You'll probably get these, it's hard to say, somewhere between 100, 200 pounds. I probably, personally, I wouldn't pay more than, I wouldn't pay more than 200 pounds. You might get, you know, they, they don't come up a lot. There's a fair few, but they're not tons of them. And, you know, I'd say the prices vary quite a lot, quite frankly. You know, you, you might land up getting them for eighty pounds. You might have to go and collect them. That'll be worth having. You know, anything up to I'd pay anything up to one hundred and fifty pounds myself. I mean, these are speakers that I've had. Most speakers I've had and kept, I like them. So you know, they're probably quite good. At, you know, else they wouldn't be here. You know. Anyway, okay, let's just go through some songs. So la 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 la. Now that I found you, Alison Krauss nice vocal very nice vocal courtesy of this tweeter her voice is very high courtesy of this tweeter and very involving just so involving the voice was the bass on that song wasn't so good yeah it wasn't articulating the bass super duper yeah there's definitely a kind of disappointing in that bass area but you know I was enjoying her voice so much that uh, I wasn't unenjoying it but um, as I'm you know this is my job to be critical so some of the bass subtleties were missing okay I then put on Witchy Woman by the Eagles yeah now interesting thing that song starts with a big blast of tom toms and bass because that was sound just so kicks out on that song that actually came out very nice and detailed the, the intro because the sealed box 
because it's fighting against a vacuum, it kind of, uh, it works better when things are really kind of trying to kick their way, blast their way through. And then in that song, Witchy Woman, the bass line, you know, which is just an ordinary bass line, didn't come across so good, you know? Okay, I hope this is making sense. Uh, then went on to uh, uh, Too High, Stevie Wonder. Uh, the voice is great. Great space in the upper frequencies, but in the lower frequencies, I wasn't getting it so articulated nicely. Yeah, I mean, generally, this sound is, is quite nice and balanced, you know. It's a fairly cohesive sound. You know, it's not like some certainly modern speakers I've heard where I'm just sort of like really not liking some of it because it's just there are rogue frequency areas you know so you know it's a fairly class thing you know uh, I put here uh, relaxed excitement <laughs> yeah I mean I know that's a contradiction in terms but uh, you know it's interesting but it, it's, it's not super exciting this speaker yeah uh, so it's not for punk rock let's say that I also put here, might sound good with a NAD amp, if you're familiar in particular with the NAD 3020, which is a very famous uh, NAD amp, with a very nice open mid-range and tight bass. I'd say that would be a real nice match for these, you know. You know, this is quite a nice speaker. If you match it right, you can get some really good results out of this. If you didn't match it right, uh, you know, it wouldn't, wouldn't be so good. So matching would say it would be important here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And let me tell you, I'll tell you actually, I put these on first with the name power amp, yeah? Which is a very, you know, it's a good, sophisticated, expensive power amp. It's quite polite. It's quite a polite thing. And I thought, it's, it wasn't. It just wasn't kind of working. Yeah, it just didn't really sound good. So I swapped it for a Sansui three one seven, which is a much cheaper but nice integrated amp, about one hundred and fifty quid. But the Sansui is, is it's got a bit more balls in it. Yeah, it's just got it's just got a bit more attack and life in it. It's not such a sophisticated thing, the Sansui. But it, it just worked, you know, it just worked better, you know. So if you had the most restrained and accurate and detailed amp but it doesn't have uh, much dynamism about it, you don't want to put them with these, that's what I would say, yeah. So, um, okay. Um, okay, I do a bit of a comparison now. So this is quite interesting. So we've got a ported enclosure here, bigger magnet here, both KEF drivers. That's a silk dome tweeter, by the way. Now, to compare these two, you know, this is a more expensive thing than this one. This is a bit more of a complex crossover. This is basically bigger and better, yeah? I don't want to sort of rubbish this speaker, but you know, if it is a comparison, this is bigger and better. Lots more bass. This has got oodles of bass, by the way. You know, a real ton of bass. Uh, so, you know, this is a big sound, a big scale. This scale is kind of, I don't know, I would say medium. You know what I mean? This is not a small scale thing. Now, if you have a, a really big room, you would want these. If you have a small room, this won't work. All the bass that comes out of here, would just be unresolved. It's be like a, you know, sort of like a football bouncing around a room. Right? It, does, it doesn't work out. Great big speakers in in small rooms. So if you had a smaller room, you might really like these. These are more delicate. They're more. They're, they they are a bit more delicate, I would say. And the tweeter is is kind of better. This tweeter is great. Um, so what else to say? Uh, so take care in the matching of this, but you know, it's basically, it's, it's a good vintage, uh, maybe classic, or uh, maybe wouldn't go as far as classic, but a good vintage uh, bit of equipment, 
And if you get this for like £100, £150, uh, it's a good deal. I'd say you're laughing. Uh, okay, I think that's it. Uh, if anyone wants to look at other reviews, or if you don't know, there's playlists on my, uh, on my channel. So you can see other speaker amps reviews and tips and stuff like that. And uh, subscribe if you like. Okay, thanks. Bye for now.